May peace be unto you, my beloved. All I want to tell you is I love you wherever you are. I know things are working out better for you as I am here. I am Reverend Chasa Jenimbot in your faithful servant. It's time for us to share the word together. Let's pray. Father, I am before thy people. Use me to bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our goal in life. Our goal in life. I have a simple question for you this morning. What is your goal in life? What is the one thing you want to achieve? For some, the answers might be lofty career goals. Others may talk about fame and money. Whatever the case, all these are peripherals. Our goal, above all else, must be to please God. Paul knows that in his letter to the church of Corinth, but neither exile nor homecoming is the main thing. Cheerfully pleasing God is the main thing. And that's what we aim to do, regardless of our conditions, sooner or later, we all have to face God regardless of our conditions. We will appear before Christ and take what's coming to us as a result of our actions, either good or bad. Our main aim must be to please God. It must be the thing you are most busy about. Your career, money, and desires must all fall in line with this goal <clears throat> otherwise they will be meaningless decides to meet pleasing god you are number one aim in life you'll be surprised at how everything else will begin to fall in place i am reverend charles sergeant in Boateng. i just want to end you here but what i just want to tell you is that let your vision and your goal establish to please god and you shall be blessed in abundance, including your generation. I will end you here by saying, Shalom, peace, I love you. Let's make it tomorrow. Bye-bye.